And today, eight Central Texas veterans were honored for their efforts to continue serving the veteran community long after their military career was over. Channel 6's Jasmine Caldwell is live for us in Waco and has more on what it meant for them to get this award. Good evening, Jasmine. Hey, well, good evening, Chris. Well, shocked and thankful is how many of them felt as they were handed their award along with a veteran challenge coin and an American flag. Air Force veteran Jerry Gwynn is proud to point out his photo that hangs on the wall of honor at the heart of Texas veteran one stop. He says many years ago he knew he was going to get drafted, so he had no choice but to join the military. A lot of people were angry over the Vietnam War by 1971, but I still felt that that was my job to do since I was an American citizen. Gwen served as security police and a dog handler in Vietnam, where it's estimated that the K-9 teams averted more than 10,000 casualties. I, I love being a dog handler. I enjoyed that. I mean, that was the best thing that ever happened to me. It wasn't part of my plan when I joined, but as it worked out, then I did volunteer for the uh, patrol dog school and that was an uh, automatic trip to Vietnam. Today, Gwen and seven other veterans were honored by Texas Congressman Bill Flores with the 2018 District 17 Congressional Veteran Commendation. The award highlights veterans who came home, converted to civilian life, and continued to serve our community. And so each of these eight folks have done it. We've got a great group of folks that, that uh, are part of this. After his military service, Gwen was prompted by the events of 9-11 to re-engage with the veteran community. Today, he serves through the Waco VFW and by volunteering at the VA and the Heart of Texas Veterans One Stop. Well, I'm just glad I'm healthy enough to, to still do that. You know, I mean, it's, uh, there's a lot of young guys coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan that are having difficulties. And if I can help a little bit, help them through some of that, then that makes it really worthwhile. Also today, the former director of the Veterans One Stop was honored today by Bill Flores. Under her leadership, the facility went from serving 2,000 veterans to more than 20,000 veterans in our Waco area. Reporting live in Waco, Jasmine Caldwell, Channel 6 News.